a bunch of Taurus High Point fans. Uh, neither are Taurus, nor is it a High Point. It is a Pieta brass frame. Uh, there's a gentleman on here saying he's had two Pietas brass frame for well over a year and they have not shot loose. Give a brief description about what that is. It's shot loose as this cylinder would be able, you know, would be more play than that. That, that little play there doesn't bother anybody. But let me show you. Um, he's under the guys at the frame here stretches and it makes everything loose inside but that as I come to find out is neither the case what actually happens is this ring on the inside and this outer ring are damaged by the ridges here on the cylinder and these stops. They get mashed with the, 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 the continuous firing. Okay. Now, if you're using hot loads, um, that can happen. Um, I use Pyrodex and everybody knows it's a little bit faster, a little bit heavier, but uh, I only use 20 grains of Pyrodex for a 44. Now, this is Cherry Popper, it's one of my first uh, cap and ball. Uh, 44s. Well, first cap and ball actually revolver. I've had a few uh, rifles. Um, they're not cap and ball though. Uh, inlines. And one CVA Hawking. And then one day somebody walked out up to me looking to trade for something and I by the time we ended up trading I got three or four uh, for what he wanted so I mean it worked out for me that way I got one of the the other inlines this uh, powder shot wads all the bells and whistles but it's not that they that this frame and stretches over time. It's just that the inside gets eaten. Um, brass is softer than steel, so it's going to wear a little quicker. Um, this has been a Taurus High Point production. I choose, therefore, I am responsible.